is looking back throughout your career, what's the biggest mistake you made? <laughs> or one of the mistakes. Getting into the business? No, no, no. Uh, not at all. Um, boy, the biggest mistake. Um, I think when I started out, the focus of just wedding in Minnesota was probably a mistake. I think, uh, I think you have to be diversified. I think what, what happened for me, anyhow, and this is just, I'm talking for myself. I know probably other guys on the panel say I, I did weddings and we did real well. But for me, it was, it was really hard getting established. And then when winter would come, everything would go slow. And I'd struggle through that ap to April, and then you could kind of get it going again. So I think probably the biggest mistake was not diversifying quicker and finding the other kinds of sources of income that could get me going through those those slower times and I think it's still it's still a challenge for all of us probably but that to find those other spots that can can keep you moving during those very slow times I'd say my biggest mistake uh, my business has been strong for, for all these years but my biggest mistake is not working my customer list, keeping in touch with those brides and those grooms that I did 25 years ago, not working my list uh, on a regular basis. Um, uh, I've always had a new crop of people coming in, and so I've never had to worry about it. But today, as the economy changes, I'm starting to go back to them uh, transferring DVDs, uh, VHS tapes to DVDs, transferring their weddings. They're all having children, their children are getting married, and, uh, you know, you're out of sight, out of mind. So keeping that list going and working it. When Jeff hinted at this question earlier today, I thought, I didn't know Jeff had such a mean streak in him. Uh, <laughs> uh, I couldn't settle, I can not settle for one. Um, I, know, I know part of it would be I, I regret having been an early adopter as often as I was. Uh, as I nickel and dime my way to solvency, the uh, the other thing, and this is this be really just for me, is is my company name. It has too many syllables, and it was it was great 15 years ago, when initially I was focused on personal video, you know, the anniversaries and weddings. It sounded really cool, but to go out and approach companies that communicates, and I've been meaning to do something about that for a couple of years, and. Uh, it just kind of locked into the old pattern, and having to change everything when I do that has, has kept me from doing that. Uh, the other thing that I'd say is a big mistake, and it, it's ongoing because I'm in the process of solving it, is I never found a really good uh, tax planner advisor. And uh, I'm changing that <laughs> this month. Ask me next month. My wife is here. I probably should let her come because she's always pointing out my mistakes. <laughs> um, two uh, things stand out. One is um, promising more than I can deliver. And um, that was early on when I believed everything that the salesman told me about my equipment, when I thought I could do different things. And so I've really had to learn to uh, pull back on making things sound too good, I, I would rather uh, surprise them by giving more than they expected instead of uh, underachieving. So that was one area, because I was always very uh, enthusiastic about what we could do. You know, we can do anything. Uh, the other thing, early on, I was trying to do th just the opposite of you. Instead of buying everything new that came along, I was trying to get by as cheaply as I could. And I found that that was equally a mistake. Uh, so I've really had to put discipline as to what I buy, when I buy it, but make sure that what I buy is adequate for the jobs that I want to do. I think the one that I regret probably more more days than, than not is when I was first considering leaving my full-time job and doing this as all there was, um, a wise older gentleman that I knew was a, a good businessman around town gave me a piece of advice and he said, if you're going to go into business for yourself, go buy a piece of property. Don't rent for the rest of your life. Buy something, 
when you're done, you'll have some equity. And I never did. And we're still renting today in two locations. And, you know, someday is going to come and I'm going to have nothing but a lot of rent payments. So I regret that. 